If there's one thing I love to do this time of year is chase big trout. In my experience, there are certain lures that tend to target those bigger sized trout. Today, we picked a handful of lures. This is by no means an exhaustive list. Some that I've fished with before, some that I've never fished with. But we're gonna raid a friend of mine's pool. We're gonna do a pool test. Let's go see how these lures look. All right, our setup today is a six foot seven medium light, 20 pound braid, 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. So if you use a different line, you may get a little bit different action. This is what I use in real life. So this is what I'm gonna use for the test. All right, first up, we've got a lure I'm very familiar with. This is a Rapala x wrap in the smaller size. This lure does have a lip on it. Caught many trout with this lure. Very curious to see how it looks underwater. First thing I notice about the X-Wrap is how fast and crisp the movements are. The lure just seems to jump from one spot to the next. You can see how slowly this lure sinks on the paws and how close it is to a true suspend. With the modifications I make, it has a slightly faster sink rate. The pattern is very controlled and tight. All right, next up is a Rapala X-Wrap, the big size. This is the same lure, they just sell it in a bigger size. Have not fished with this as much. I know it catches fish. Very curious to see how it compares to the smaller version. Very similar pattern as the smaller version. The main difference I notice is the movements are not as dramatic. Probably if you put a little more power into the rod movement, you could get closer to the action of the smaller version. The sound is also noticeably deeper. The sink rate seems to be very similar as well. Also a very tight and controlled motion. Good looking lure. Next up is a lure that many people are familiar with. This is a Miradine mirror lure, 17 MR, hard plastic, lipless twitch bait. This is kind of a standard go-to twitch bait for many people this time of year. I'm surprised how tight the action is on this lure being lipless. Very tight motion and a great sound. The sink rate is a good bit faster than the X-Wrap. No wonder so many people love this lure. And we get to it, the fat boy. I have fished with this lure before. I actually did a video last year where I caught quite a few. The tail can be moved up or down to change the action. No lip on the front. This is the heaviest of the lures that we've tested so far today. Bigger size hooks on. Very curious to see how this looks under the water. You can see this lure has a more unpredictable motion than any of the previous lures. The main thing that stands out is the wobble this lure has on the fall. Something about the shape of this lure causes it to maintain that wobble throughout the fall. The sink rate is comparable to the Miradine. The nose of the lure tends to point upward when worked. I have to be honest, I'm not crazy about the looseness of the pattern, but that could certainly be operator error. All right, this next lure I've also never fished with. This is a Matrix Minnow. This one is the suspending version. The Matrix Rip Shad is the floater. This is the smallest profile lure of all that we're testing today. It's got a smaller size hook. Also has a lip on the front and BBs inside for sound. I gotta be honest, I'm surprised how fast this lure is diving. It was hard to even film it. It wanted to hug the bottom so bad. Might be good to target those deeper fish. It's still a good looking lure and has a great sound to it. All right, next up is a lure I've never fished with before. Looks very similar to the Miradine, except it's made by Yozuri, and it's got a split ring on the front out the package. A couple of BBs inside it. Very curious to see how this compares to the 17MR Miradine. I really like the way this lure moves. It has a pattern that's similar to the Miradine, but sinks just a bit slower. Notice how this lure maintains a level position throughout the fall. The sound is also very similar to the Miradine. This is a great looking lure and there's no reason why it wouldn't catch a few monster trout. And last but not least, the slick lure. This lure, you buy the hook separate. It's a spring in the front that you screw on to the nose. Got a slit, you thread it through the belly, and that hook tip comes out and sits right on top just like a Texas rig. I switched over to a medium power because you're gonna need extra power to set that big single hook. This lure has a lot more up and down than any of the others so far. 
on the fall it goes nose down as opposed to falling in a level position. That diving fall can be absolutely deadly at times. This lure has a tendency to jump higher in the water column when it's worked, which gives it more room to show off the action it has on the fall. Also notice on the fall, there's somewhat of a spiral motion rather than a straight down fall. Hey, hopefully we actually learned something today, and the next time you see me, I'll be on the front of my boat putting these lures to a real life test. Thanks for joining me today. We'll catch you on the next one.